Yeah, that's what I want to see, Gintoki. You just go in, punch those motherfuckers, swing your sword, do whatever what you want. Because those motherfuckers like, yeah, oh, don't move from that spot. As you got like Sakamasu, Gintoki, Katsu, Shinpachi, all of them there. It's like, your fleet will be like shattered by the Shogun's army. And it's just like, <laughs> just try it. <laughs> just, do you really think that uh, what's going to happen first? You guys destroying our fleet or us taking your Shogun's head? Yeah, and they're like, yo, protect the Shogun, go ahead. And I just love that face that Gintoki does. It's like, yeah, it's time to roll. It's time to fucking go. And it's like, you see him all just being the shit. And I just like how you see Baja just there. Like, he's just standing like, is this the guys that really used to be with Takasugi? And I just love that, you know, even though we got Gintoki going in a little bit, I love that we saw a bunch of that Sagama to like shooting people with like guns out of them like just with no ease as well and seeing Katsura is there like throwing bombs at nothing Shinpachi going in and like it was just so great because afterwards it was just like oh these are the men that fought alongside him and it's like oh yeah all units fire and fucking Sakamatsu, Katsura, Gintoki are all there with Nobu Nova there with the biggest shitty grins and I'm like yes they're holding the hostage and they're fucking loving it. <laughs> like, they're saying, like, we're all friends here now, right? You know, we're just going to have you guys, like, take a little bit of the backseat and leave. And it's just like, this scumbag It's like saying, there's no need for you guys. It's like, you got, if you cannot kill these insurgents and all of my retainers, you're going to cut your belly. It's like, what kind of failures are they? It's like, either cut down the enemy or cut down yourself. It's like... I've had to deal with these low lives, like, taking me. It's like, after the whole thing with Kami and then getting punched again and just, like, getting fucked up by everyone. And it's just like, yeah, he needs these odds, you know. Say my name. I am the barbarian seducing Shogun Tokugawa Nobu. And then Vaja just comes in. He's like, grit your teeth, bitch. Boo! He just fucking knocks him all over the floor. And he's just like, just leave, guys. Like, this country no longer has a really worth as, like, such a price. Like, to, like, cut your belly zone is, like, nothing is will be as worth as our previous, like, Shogun that we had. It's, like, not until we find a new one. And I just love that he took out his fucking two front teeth. <laughs> like, just straight out. It's just his face is just not. And it's, like, honestly, he's, like, how does it feel? Like, you just overthrew, like, you know, an entire, you know, <laughs> like, just Shogun. He's, like, eh, nothing at all has been granted, I dare say. <laughs> It's like, it's like, yeah, we may have, like, got them away, you know, with the Shin, uh, Shin Sengumi and the Mimo Alagumi and the retainers all having abandoned it. Even if you feel the empty castle that once held both of the ones that have been held it and rampaged, like, and the ones that defended it, I dare say it's quite meaningless. And it's like, and he's like, how ironic, because this man stood at the top of the country, but he become alone. And then, but as for the man as well, that Takasuki, because his wings were broken and he fell from the earth, those that were able to gather here, and it's like, he also had all of you, and it's just like, they looked at him, and it's just like, you know, these men can, you know, perhaps actually make, you know, Takasugi back into the person that he used to be, like, maybe that is, and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm sorry, but there's like one place that we, uh, like, I have to tell them, it's like, oh, you know, if our units are scared, there's a secret place that we were promised to assemble. Funny enough, we see him on the floor right there, like, resting. He's there with Arbuto, and I'm like, yo, fucking Arbuto's there, and he's just, like, taking care of him. And it's actually on the planet Rakyo, which is actually the planet that, like, Kagura and all them grew up on. And he's like, and just as he goes outside, he's seeing, like, all the remnants just outside say, yeah, this is, like, where now, like, people are like, just road chasers and just, like, pretty much scum kind of like, after, like, being, like, a giant rune after the war. It's just, like, that's what it's become. And it's like, oh, yeah, this old hometown is a place that you wanted to get near. And it's like, so even guys like you get homesick and you just see Umibozu in the rain and saying, you monster fuck. Fuck. Now Umibozu's here. Now, obviously, he hasn't got no beef with, like, Obviously, like, with any of them, he's gonna have to, so I probably talk to Arbuto, and he's like, no, where the fuck is Khan we at? Like, we need to know where he is. If not, blood is gonna be spilled. And you know how there's always that joke that fucking Arbuto keeps losing his arm because of this shit? It's like, I think you'd be losing more than an arm this time, man. I mean, I really don't think this is a good time to fuck with Umibozu. And I think Kami maybe has recovered enough. Like, honestly, if that's the case, that these two are gonna be fighting on there... And then he's just going to be like, oh yeah, by the way, these are the people that you need to clean up. Like, I don't think Umi Bozo would sell these guys out. He's like, he just said, I honestly have my own goal. It kind of involves you as well. I honestly just want to take care of my fucking son. 
it was a great chapter, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the shit-eating grins, <clears throat> I'm a guilty fucking pleasure for that. And not to mention as well, oh, Throne Noble Noble, which is so fucking good. And just, like, the great setup between, like, Kami, not to mention Auto and Takatsuki being alive. And it's just, like, oh, it's just so much fucking good stuff in the chapter. Honestly, an 8.5. I really enjoyed this chapter. Let me know what you think in the competition down below. But it's all from me, so thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys next time.